this is wonderful this is beautiful and then if i swipe to there i can see okay swipe to close swipe to hi 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 everyone hello everybody hi share invite tell them that you know the author of where'd you get your car from hey she's online on live hi everyone hello hello i've just bonded with this baby who is going to africa tomorrow you know i bought i bought her as a present for my niece in malawi and i've just bonded with, you know isn't it alfred yeah we've just bonded incredibly well and now i'm thinking i'm gonna have to let you go i'm gonna have to let you go do you do your clients ever ask you to take videos down do your clients ever ask you to take videos down no they don't no there's only certain clients i take videos of certain clients i would never dare over my dead body i would never ever jeez oh, are you for real yeah so it's not all clients i take videos and others actually ask to be in my videos on um you know the other platform which is not for kids you know other people actually say can i be in your video on your <coughs> i'm like okay cool I see. I see you. Oh, you know what? I should have turned the light off because. Ah, yes. You know what? Yes. As with all things, you've got to gauge. It's called wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what to do and doing it. Knowing what not to do and not doing it. Doing the right thing at the right time. Knowing who to do it to and who not to dare. When you do the job I do, you meet all sorts. The convicts, the, the gang members. And I mean gang members. And I mean, you know, all those. So, yeah, you know, I gauge risk assessment let's put it that way risk assessment isn't it darling isn't it darling we do a risk assessment yeah risk assessment <laughs> yeah show me how to do oh <laughs> come on nobody shows you how to do i'm not going to say that word because i don't want to be bad no one sh shows you how to do let's just say accounting nobody shows you how to do accounting you know nobody sh you know shows you how to do accounting so i hope you've shared this video and told them that the happy <coughs> is on the justified <coughs> The happy accountant, the justified accountant, you know, just tell them that she's on. Yeah. Share far and wide, the more the merrier. In it, darling. In it, sweetie pie. The more the merrier. Oh, somebody says, I love you so much. I feel the love. This video was actually a testing, testing, one, two, three. So this is what happened. <clears throat> one second. Let me turn the cooker off. the love thank you for the love thank you step what does it say uh, you know to the customers you put in no they're in the videos yeah look you guys i take a lot of videos which are not um, compatible for here you know and i'm talking of 
real raw stuff like <laughs> you know that are not so they know they're in there some of them ask to be there some of them are chopped the face so but what is what, one thing i don't understand how can i get this video to stay on live to stay on my plat on my timeline can somebody please let me know how Hi everyone, it's Sandra, the author of Confessions of a Justified Hooker. Get your copy, get your copy and then you will see, you will read, you will feel, you will just read me. That, that's my autobiography, it's just me. Go to replay, share the replay. No way! Go to replay, share the replay. You know what? Is that after the video? Or can I do it now? Hand on heart, I am not familiar. Look, I keep saying I've got other specialities. <laughs> I'm not going to start elaborating what specialities. But when it comes to this right here, all this going live and stuff, I don't have a clue. I don't even know how you guys... We're making that video of, where did you get your car from? How you took my voice into that? I, I'm like, is this witchcraft? Is this voodoo? Is this white magic or black magic or what magic? I don't have a clue. Yeah? Okay, so please, can you just send me a message? Whoever was telling me the instruction. Okay, go to replay and then share. Right. Okay, I'll do that. I did not even see what I mean. Mm. Do it now. Oh, I can do it now. Go to replay. You know what? School me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for schooling me. Okay. Do it now. Right. Replay. And where would that replay be? Come on. Ah, I'll get there. You've been drinking the duty wine. No, I've not been drinking. What if I told you that I don't even drink? You know, I do drink a nice cup of tea, yeah, but um, alcohol. Um... Okay, what's happening? I am trying to fight to source out where the replay is and then I can share it because somebody said I can, I I didn't know that facility is press the replay. Oh, oh, you know what? I'll go on YouTube after this to see exactly what to do. Never ask someone. No, no. You know, people say, oh, you never ask someone how old they are. No, it's okay to ask people how old they are. Do you know what? I've lost people in my time. People have died way before me. Way before me. I always say I'm from Malawi, where I have watched people dying. Teenagers dying of AIDS. You know? And I'm so proud of my age. I'm 41. And my God, you know, even if somebody says, oh my God, but you look 82. It's okay. I am proud every living day. I'm proud to be in the land of the living. Every year I clock another year. I just celebrate my age. So I think, you know, age should be celebrated. You know? I don't do all this. Oh, you never ask a woman your age. And guess what? Even on the web, on the thing is where I advertise my <clears throat> most women who are like 56 they'll say they are 29 no for me i put my real age if you go on the um platforms where they've got my um you know my details i put my age it's just one of those if you want a mature woman <laughs> with experience with the talent, you know, so be proud of age. With my age comes wisdom, um, talent, passion, patience, understanding, 
you know, lots of love to give and so much more love to give, you know, because I have lived in this world for 41 years long enough to know certain things. So if I'm going to tell people that I am 32, then I'm not doing myself a favor. No, I am 41, 41 years of wisdom, 41 years of passion, 41 years of struggles in this tangled, chaotic world, 41 years of, of being betrayed, of being abandoned, and even being loved. 41 years of experience on earth. Come on. Never be ashamed of your age. And I'm not having a go at the person who said, oh, never ask someone their age. I'm not having a go. I'm only telling you my views. Can you put down, lower down that thingy? Thank you. Um, yeah, so that is me. That is me. You know, whatever the weather, you know, the, the body is the outer shell. This is the outer shell. This is the house. This is the shell. So if somebody says to you, oh, your shell looks a hundred years old, it's okay. They, they don't know your journey. They don't know what you've had to, to put up with. They don't know if you've been one of the underprivileged. You know, the world will never be equal, you guys. The world. Are you... Are you LGBT? <laughs> okay, let me just... Um, the world will never be equal. The world will never have equal opportunities. So some people... We are going to edge, you know, quicker than certain people because we don't have certain things afforded to us. And, you know, we don't have certain privileges. So, yeah, I'm going to tell you my age. And if you're going to judge me based on, on the outer shell, so be it. So be it. Okay, somebody says, are you LGBT? Are you falling in love with me? <laughs> somebody is asking if I'm lesbian. Are you falling in love? Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Jordan. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But I still want to know how to keep this video on, on my page. You know, somebody was like, oh, no, once you finished, it goes. And then somebody here says, no, no, no. You've got to replace. So I'll source that out. Yeah, so Jordan, I'm still sourcing things out. Can I ask about your doll? What's the story? Oh, okay, okay. This doll right here. Okay, my son, Alfred, is going to Africa tomorrow. My son was born in Africa, in Malawi. Malawi is the warm heart of Africa. One of the poorest countries on the globe. When I say poorest, I mean the poorest countries on the globe. Okay, and my son is visiting tomorrow for three weeks. He was born there, you know, so that's what he's been wanting to do. If you, most of you know Alfred, you've followed Alfred. Alfred um, is 22 with severe learning difficulties, severe autism, a chromosome abnormality. Alfred can never live independently, you know, so he's going to Malawi, not with me, but he's going with um some members of family he's so excited so this these are part of the presents one second i will just show you uh turn around flip come on i should be able to know where to just flip oh i almost pressed the end button flip where is turning the camera uh-uh Oh, God, I'll just have to do this then. Yeah, so, that's Alfred on his Grand Theft Auto. He's just coming from the barbers. He's just had a haircut. And this is... Hang on, is it showing? Okay. So, this is everything that's... We're just packing, but then he needs 20 kilos in here, 20 kilos in there. And what's the like hand luggage? Is it 5 kilos? I can't remember. But, yeah... So there's, there's another baby on there. You know, just lots and lots of stuff to go to Malawi. Just, um, it's mainly presents, really. 
biscuits, you know. When I say, yeah, <laughs> this, I had a special request that please send me biscuits from England. You know, just those things we take for granted. Oh no, this one is for me. These are my tea bags. Come on, what are they doing in there? Yeah. So it's just um, things Alfred is carrying and clothes for people. You know, just all sorts. And this baby, ah, this baby is part of the journey. But then, this is the funny thing. There are two babies here. <laughs> they better not. I didn't even know that they're not babies you play with. Somebody said, no, they're collectibles. They can actually break. I said, what? They're ceramic. I didn't know. I didn't know they're called collectibles. But then I've bonded with that one. And Alfred has bonded with that baby as well. So it's going to be so sad to have them go. You know, because they've been in this house for over three weeks now. And we've bonded. Haven't we, darling? You're going to Africa with Alfred. Yeah? Alfred, just shout hi. Hi. Yeah, so I've got one son. He's 22. His name is Alfred. Yeah. He's 22. His name is Alfred. Yeah? In it. Alfred is all right. What's happening to your eyelashes? What have you done? What's happened to you? Oh. Your eyelashes coming out. Oh my God. The eyelash has come out. Oh, we might as well take both out. Yeah, so I didn't know that these are collectibles. Ceramic. Are they going to survive the, uh, what, 24-hour journey? I don't know. I don't know. And this one has been breastfeeding quite a lot. You're the greedy one, you. This one has been breastfeeding quite, you know, she's always hungry. So I'm going to feel empty. Alfred is going and these two little babies are going as well to my nieces. Are they going to break or, or what or not? I don't know. Oh my God. You know what? I think this should just stay with me. Because I can't put them in the boxes. I've got to, I've got so much here. I've got so much, so much stuff to go. And if anybody, I said this last time, if anybody, if you want to, be a part of Alfred's journey and even donate five pounds. It's not for Alfred. It's to go to the very poor people. Alfred is just going to Malawi to give. To give the little he has. To give and to explore, to see the hospital he was born. My son Alfred was born in one of the most poor, deprived hospitals in the world. And I want him to go back to his roots you know, and just see the hospital where he was born. And he's, I know he's going to say, no way. Yep. No way. Was I really born there? Yes, you were. You know, so if anyone, whoever, it's not by force. It's only giving you an opportunity to be a blessing. You know? If you think you've been blessed to be a blessing, but if you think, oh my God, it's, you know, there's a, cry, a living crisis. We've got our own here. Oops. Nah, this baby is not going. Oh, I didn't even know she sits down like that. <laughs> Alfred, look. Yeah. Oh, sorry. When Alfred is on his Grand Theft Auto, don't even think about it. Don't speak to him. Uh -uh. You've been here for two weeks and I didn't know you can sit. Or have you just started, started sitting today? On, you know what? I swear down, she's only just started sitting today. Have it, you baby girl. Oh. Yeah, so what was I saying? If you want an opportunity to go, to bless somebody, Alfred is going to the people who will need it. You know, that five pounds is not for my son, Alfred. It is just for somebody who needs it. Yeah? So... That's the journey. Oh, but we've got our own. We've got our own. We need to give our own, our own, our own. Who are, who, who are your own? Who are your own? 
Because was that conversation on TikTok or not? Somebody talked to me. I hope not. I hope you're not listening to the conversation. Okay. Yeah. So that's the trip with Alfred. You know, um, his ticket cost him £1,200. You know, it's a long journey. It's two flights from here. He flies to Ethiopia, from Ethiopia to Malawi, and it's long transit time. You know, so his ticket cost him 1200 And then, you know, everything else. But like I say, he's not going there to gallivant. He's mainly going there to, to give. You know, when I talk of poverty... I mean poverty. When I talk of poor, I mean, don't even say, oh, I can imagine. No, no, no. You cannot imagine because you just can't. Unless you've seen it, you cannot imagine. So it's unimaginable. Yes, and um, I know this will be Alfred's very, very enlightening, humbling, educational you know, he was born there. He came here when he was one year old. When he was one year old, then he came to Britain. Yeah, and these have only been in, the, in here for three weeks, I think. Three weeks, and she's only started sitting today. I think this is an accident waiting to happen. Taking these on a 24-hour flight. Now. No, no, no. Sorry. Sorry. Nope, they're going to break. Oh, yeah. Imagine, I didn't know they were ceramic. But because I love dolls, and I don't think you're going to Africa, Baba. You're going to be bruised. You're going to break. You're going to hurt. I don't think, I think your trip is canceled. Okay. Don't look at me like that. I think your trip is cancelled. Oh, okay. Yeah. Somebody says seek help. Somebody just says seek help. You know who needs to seek help? I'm just telling you about these presents. They are going to Africa because my son is traveling and you're telling me to seek help. You know why you're telling me to seek help? Because you are a selfish psychopath. That's all. That's how I can describe you. A selfish psychopath. You need to seek help. You guys, in life, yeah? Let me tell you. On every life, in every... In everywhere, there will always be that one... <clears throat> I, I would say some words, but they would get me blocked. You know, I would say some words that would get me blocked. Everything I've got here is going to Africa. Tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon is going to Africa. And I have spent a lot. According to me, it's a lot. The flight is 1,200 pounds just to go and give. To give people who really, really need them. You know, but these dolls are for my nieces. These dolls are for my nieces. So if you think I need help, Simply because I said my son is going to Africa tomorrow and these are the presents. And you say huh, you need help because you are self-centered and selfish. And um, all you know is me, 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 me. Some of us, the foreskin of your heart. People get it wrong. They circumcise their down there. No, no, no. Leave that foreskin intact. But you need to circumcise your heart. Circumcision of the heart. You know where you've just been judgmental, selfish, judgmental. You've only come on this live and just to tell me I need to seek help. You know, circumcise your heart. It's dangling with dirt, with, um, you know, that foreskin which is just... It's dangling with selfishness and self-pity and misery and all sorts of, you know, it's just dangling. Circumcise your heart. Next time you come back on my live, I hope you're going to say, Sandra, I've actually circumcised my heart. When it comes to um, thingy, down below, I love foreskin. I love foreskin. 
true circumcision is of the heart. Oh, somebody says, hi, Fiesta. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Come on. There's a mysterious girl down the road and somebody calls me Fiesta. Yeah. So, somebody, where, where is this Fiesta phrase coming from? I put a video two weeks, uh, no, two days ago. I put a video of my client. My client is addicted to, <clears throat> let's just say, ladies of the night. Right, I think I need to leave these babies somewhere because they are triggering some really nasty people. Okay, somebody just says I need to seek help because of you two lovelies. There you go. Let's put let's put you away. Okay, there's some energy out there. That's why when, when some people are coming to your house, you know, when people are visiting you, tell them, leave your demons at the door. I mean, this person who said to me, seek help. Imagine a person with that attitude, with that mindset, with that hate. Imagine them visiting your house. All they're bringing to your house is hateful spirits and demons. When people are coming here, I tell them, leave your demons at the door. Hi, please. Can I book a session B um, BDSM for an hour? Yeah, but I'm on TikTok live now. So, I'll, you know, we'll, book this, we'll do these sessions later. Yeah. One second. Ah. ah, somebody says you're amazing, Slay Queen. Hmm, I don't know about Slay Queen. I'm just amazing, you know? I'm just amazing and I agree. But I don't know about Slay Queen. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the love. I can see the love hearts there. I can see the love hearts. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, when people tell you, right, I'm coming over, I'm coming to tell them, leave your demons at the door. I don't care how many demons you've got out there, but when you're coming to my house, leave them at the door. You know? You need help and you tell um, an, an amazing woman that she needs help. Shame on you. Shameless creature. Shame on you. And this year, this year, 2022, will not end well with, for you. That's all I can tell you. This year will not end well for you in one way or the other. Trust me. I'm, I bless people, but this time I am literally cursing you. 2022 will not end well for you. Watch this space. Yeah. Right. Moving on. They're jealous that you're strong and, and independent. This is what I always say. Oh, thank you for the love. Whoops. Thank you for the love. This is what I always say. People are very, very jealous when you have a persona, a personality, a character, a strength. When you possess a character that they could only dream of, that they wish they could have had. Oh my God, people envy that so much more than money. That's what I've noticed. How do I know? I have very little. Trust me, I have very little. I live in a council house, okay? Which I am buying at the moment, but I live in a council. I have very little, but guess what? The people who jealous me, <laughs> people who jealous me are those ones with a lot of money. You know why? Because uh, they've got money, but they lack character. They've got money, but they lack persona. They lack strength. They possess no confidence. And then they hate on me because they possess, you know, because I possess what even money cannot buy. You guys, read Confessions of a Justified Hooker. Read Confessions of a Justified Hooker. That's my autobiography. That's my life, my journey. If you appreciate people's lived experiences, I, I've gone through that ring of fire and come out the other side. 
Where is Carl? <laughs> okay, tell me first, who are you? Where is Carl? I met Carl um, in Audi today. And I was so proud of him. I told him, in fact, I took a video of him. Um, I'll post it with his permission because he was not happy. As in, I said, Carl, please understand why I'm so happy. <laughs> this is the first time I've ever seen you in a shop buying food. You know, he was there with a the trolley buying chicken and stuff. You know what? I, I was so emotional. I was happy for him and so emotional. And you've just, oh my God, I can't believe you've just asked me where is Carl. You know, when you've known somebody for years and years and years, okay, you all know Carl's battle, yeah? You all know, you know, the battles of addiction. I'm not, you know, and I'm so proud for the first time in my life knowing Carl, he was in Audi with a trolley, shopping, putting protein, chicken, lean chicken. You know, wow. I saw him from a distance. At first. I thought, that can't be Carl. I said, Carl, do you know how happy I am? Do you know how happy I am? To, he was like, what? I said, what? To just see you in Audi shopping. You know, all I see you is... I'm not going to go into depth, but okay. For example, if somebody was a food addict and all you ever see them is buying food, buying food, buying food, what buying food, buying food, 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 from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, from the rising of the sun, all you see them do is buy food if they were a food addict, you know? So Carl has got his own struggles and for me to, to bump into him in Audi today, he looked nice, you know, he's always, you know, he, ah, God, you guys, please, I have to acknowledge it. There's no way I could have just said, hi, Carl, and walked past. No, I stopped and said, Carl, this warms my heart. I know he felt like saying, well, shut up. <laughs> I said, Carl. This was my heart. I said, Carl, you know I'm videoing this, don't you? Because I have never, ever seen you in any situation apart from... Mm, right, enough of this topic right now. Enough, enough. Any questions? But yeah, Carl's fine. Hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, somebody says, how do you remain so youthful? <laughs> I play a lot. The only games I play are in the... Are in the... I play a lot. I play a lot and I remain youthful and healthy. You know, when you can put your, you know, when, you've, when you're in a job where you have to learn to put your legs on your shoulders. Alfred, he's got his headphones on. He's on his game. He's just on his game. He's just on his game, on his Grand Theft Auto. He, as I say, he's going to Africa tomorrow for three weeks. And um, I know from this home, the only thing he's going to miss, oh my God, you know what? My son has been tormented. He knew about this trip two months ago. So I put a calendar for him. You know, it was like, it's one of them, you know, Alfred and the, Alfred does, has got no... He cannot tell time. You know Alfred's difficulties. He cannot tell time. Like money, he cannot... He has no concept or comprehension of money. You know? So, it's been a torment for, for him. My... Well, for me, not for him. Huh? When am I going? When am I going? So, I got him... I bought him this calendar. I've got to show you guys this calendar. <laughs> wow. Alfred, I'm just going to go see you a bit, yeah? Uh, 
by the way, where is that um, the person who says I need to seek help? I hope he's still not on my life because on this land, I just love good energy, good vibes. You know something, you guys? Vibes are underrated. I embrace good vibes. I appreciate good vibes. I'm all about good vibes, encouraging, you know, healing, bonding, bridging. You know, the world's greatest bridges are people. Oh, somebody says, who said that? I know. Um, I'm not going to voice out what I wish I could because, uh, you know, for risk of being blocked. But yeah, you know, I'm all about good vibes. So just scroll on to another live where you will find people of your of your own hateful thinking. Right. Back to Alfred's trip. He knew about this trip two months ago. When am I going, mom? How many more days? I said, Alfred, OK, I am going to tell you. I am going to write for you. This is Malawi. Tomorrow, yeah? 31st. I said, so what you're going to do is tick every day. Oh, he knew about the trip from there. That's when the tick started. I said, tick every day. Yes, and then you will know. Every morning when you wake up, and then you will know when it gets closer and closer. I wake up the next day. He had ticked everything. Say, mom, I've not got long to go now. Three more days. <sighs> Honestly. Three more days. I say, what the hell have you done? I've ticked everything. I've not got long to go now. Ha! Huh? Africa, here I come. Three more days. I said, Alfred. It's not about how fast you tick. I say tick one a day. You know, like you do on Christmas. Well, at Christmas, that's what he does with his advent calendar. Takes out all the chocolates. Right. We've not, not got long. Oh, so I said, Alfred, no, you've got to stop. But it is what it is. You know, he's got severe difficulties. And apart from that, he is stubborn. Huh? So I said, Alfred, that's not how it works. He ticked everything on that day. I said, right, now I need to get rid of this. No, mom, please. So he said, okay. I'm going to start... Again, putting dots. So can you see there's a dot? <laughs> there's a black dot on each and every one. Then he started putting dots. And after a few days, he put all those dots everywhere. Mom, guess what? I said, what? I've not got long to go now. Two more days. So you can imagine it's been two months of torment for me. You know, telling Alfred that, can you just stop it? Can you just relax? Can you just chill? Can you just, you know, I said, look, if, if people did that, then they would just tick and say to their boss that it's payday now. So when I use that concept, then it clicked on. I said, okay, imagine, you know, when people say, hey, it's Friday, it's payday, it's Friday. I said, imagine if on Saturday they've ticked everything and went to the boss and said, yeah, it's Friday. It's payday. Where's my wages? That doesn't make sense. They've got to wait. So even you've got to wait. <sighs> but yeah. So even these in blue were ticked last week. So right now he's got nothing to tick. You're not ticking anymore, isn't it? Oh, sorry. He's on his Grand Theft Auto. Yes. So that's Alfred's journey. And then tomorrow it's Malawi, and then we start the month of August. The month of August, me, myself, and I. So if anybody wants to come and stay with me, as long as, you know the school, you know the Bobby, please do. You are invited. I'm home alone. So if anybody wants to come and live with me for three weeks, if anybody wants to invite me to their villa for three weeks, I have got no responsibilities. The only responsibility I have is to... Oh my God, did I just say I've got no responsibilities? No, I've got a huge responsibility. Jeez, I'm an essential worker. You know, even through COVID, you guys, right, now this is the topic which... 
most people don't want to talk about. Even during COVID, I say to a few journalists, okay, um, you know, I've been in the papers, in the tabloids a few times, yeah, about a few, a few issues. I've been in the papers a few times, so I've got, I'm in touch with a few journalists. I said, do you know what topic you, you don't want to talk about, you journalists? Um, hang on, essential. I am an essential worker. I am an essential worker. Yep. But this is the topic the world doesn't want to talk about. About we as essential workers. You guys, if there's one thing that sells, probably more than food, it's <clears throat> the three-letter word. What are you? What? Oh, I thought you said, what are you, a police officer? Okay, police officers are essential workers. Nurses are essential workers. But do you know something people don't want to talk about? How? I, I love the H word. I had to say escort. I love the H word. How ladies of the night are essential workers. That's a topic the world doesn't want to talk about. So during COVID, I said to a few journalists, I said, can you cover this topic, please? Ask, you know, the um, ladies of the night, ask them if they've been busy during COVID or not. <laughs> during COVID, some people were made redundant. My condolences to those who were made redundant during COVID. Some people, but if there was a job, an industry that was undented, unaffected, that, you, seriously, I must have said this to about seven journalists, including an email to Sky. And I've got all the evidence, all the evidence to say, can you do this um, investigation or documentary on how there's one industry that has remained undented during COVID, during, during this crisis, the COVID pandemic, during the pandemic, if there is one, one industry that was undented in every, across, in, uh, all over, all over, it is this industry called, I have to be careful the phrases I use because you don't want me banned, do you? But it's this industry of accounting, let's just say accounting for the purposes of, of TikTok, yeah? Yeah, everybody wants an accountant. Everybody has got books. <laughs> you know, if you know, you know what I'm talking about. Everybody, just think everybody's got books. Yeah? Books that need accounting. You know, uh, read my book. Confessions of a Justified. Confessions of a Justified. So the boom, boom. So the <laughs> I don't even know where to start, but just you know, just um just think okay, you're talking from you know, you're hearing this from me who is a justified, certified, I'm not just a hook, I am justified, a justified a certified. A registered, you know, a happy, okay? So at least if I say things about this industry, please just think, oh, she must know what she's talking about. One industry, you know, I if you ask all the, <clears throat> across the board, they will say, never has a time been so busy like during the COVID pandemic. Okay, so what do you think? Do you think all the men were on play, on play FIFA? and Grand Theft Auto and come on, be realistic but because the world is, you know I, I'm saying this, I'm not even feeling guilty because after all, Boris Johnson was partying, so duh somebody might say, oh no, no, no you know, <laughs> no my Prime Minister was out having a party, okay 
Yeah? And I'll tell you something. With me, lockdown, with me having Alfred, lockdown for every person who has a child or, an, or is caring for somebody with special needs. My goodness, lockdown. You know what? It was impossible. It was impossible. Lockdown was impossible. If you know Alfred, anybody who is from, from Gorton, if you know Alfred, you will tell me that <laughs> Alfred cannot be locked down. Lockdown was impossible. So I thought, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna catch COVID, if I'm gonna catch COVID, I don't want to catch it from this boy who's gallivanting everywhere because he cannot be chained. He cannot be chained. He cannot be locked in. He cannot be. It's impossible. My son has got severe autism. He's got his own. He's got his own routine. I wasn't going to break that routine for nobody when Boris was parting. As if I knew that huh, Boris is parting at number 10. As if I knew. So my heart goes out to... To... Um, first of all, my heart goes out to everybody who lost friends or family during COVID. Alfred is a lovely boy. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, he is. So, you, you if you know Alfred, can you see Alfred being locked in 24-7? If I told you what he was doing, if I told you what my Alfred was doing during the first who, 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 you know, when the whole thing is started of lockdown. I thought, we're going to go crazy here. It's not happening. And after about two days, I said, no, no. You know, there's, there comes a time you've just got to think, it's still my life to live. It's still my life to live. We must have, but also saying that, come on, we live in Gorton. East Manchester. Gorton is a place. Has, has anybody got my book on here? Um, if anybody's bought my book, please tell me if you have. I, would, I wish you could read a certain page. Gorton is a place that it doesn't sleep or slumber. Gorton will never sleep or slumber. Gorton is a place which <laughs> everybody rolls one, smokes one. Except me, I've never taken weed. And I'm not judging people who smoke weed, no. But, you know, I could even make a spliff for my son, whatever, I don't care. I've never had a spliff in my life. Never. Even though I love this. Oh, we're not supposed to talk about... The... We're not supposed to talk... Oh, God. Bye. I'm going to go. Right. TikTok will ban me because... Eesh. TikTok will ban me because I talked about... Um... Right, kids. I was only saying, do not do... Oh, somebody says I have your book. Okay, so there's a chapter I talked about. Oh, now I'm so uncomfortable because um, you, I think anyway, it's a, it's time I should go. You guys, big kisses, big kisses. Okay, it's the happy, yeah. Right, I hope I'm not going to get banned after this live because I mentioned, did I say? Oh, I don't know. But yeah, this is a place where, oh God, I don't even know. It's so hard. You know, this it's so fragile on here. It's so fragile. It's just fragile. So fragile. And for somebody like me who just wants to be me, it's so difficult. So yeah, enough. Let me get back to my messages because I got a message somebody say somebody wants an hour of domination. So let me just do that. Yeah, you guys. Thank you. Until next time. Until next time, you will not be seeing these babies again because they travel tomorrow. Say bye-bye. And the person who said to me, seek help, do you want to show them the middle finger, darling? Yeah? Good girl. Right, I'm going to go now. Okay. Oh, look at us. Wow. Yeah, so somebody just take me a picture I can I can frame. A picture please. Send it to me after. I'm posing for a photo, right? Okay. Because I will never get to see these babas again. Yeah, so I'm posing for a photo. Anybody? Anyone with a camera on their phone? 
Oh, you feel like I'm leaving you on your own, don't you? Okay. Right. I am posing for photos. Okay, right. Until next time, we're going to say bye-bye. I've got so much packing to do. So much packing. <sighs> so much packing to do. So... You go back in your Moses basket. There you go. There you go. Yeah. There you go. <sighs> it's Sandra, the happy. Who, 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 who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? Alfred needs his bags packed. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? I think I showed... I don't know how long you've been... All this... How do I get all this stuff in there? In the tube? Well, I've got... We've got plenty of room. We've got plenty. There's, we've got plenty of room, I think. Alfred, I'm saying bye on the live. Just, okay. Bye-bye. 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 Vacuum bags. Vacuum bags. Where are the vacuum bags? Don't tell me I've got vacuum bags because they, they're mine. Where are the vacuum bags? Oh, look at this. The world, the worlds have now gone bigger. Do you know? Mukupita kutim. Ah, ah, to be that good Jenny. Alfred, a bit of Malawi. Alfred, a bit of Malawi. Mawa. Vacuum bags. Where do you see the vacuum bags? Anyway, I'll, I'll source it out. But now, if there's vacuum bags anywhere, they're not supposed to, to be going. Well, some of it is my shopping. I don't know. So that's what I need to sort out. But guess what? All this time, I didn't know that you can make the font bigger i was struggling to read and read and read and now that i'm saying bye the font suddenly got larger did i press something oh god no way alfred everybody says have a good time thank you yeah they save so much space oh vacuum bags saves oh my god <laughs> do you know what i thought you said I thought you had seen some Henry Hoover vacuum bags. To me, a vacuum is a Hoover. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm actually embarrassed. To me, a, a, a vacuum is a Hoover. So when you said vacuum bags, I'm thinking, shit, my, my Hoover bags better not go to Malawi because I bought a Henry Hoover and it's got vacuum. Oh, sh you know what? We were on two different lanes. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, vacuum bags. It's too late now because use them to pack, right? But then if he's going tomorrow, then where can I get vacuum? Oh my goodness. Okay, a vacuum. In my mind, a vacuum is a hoover. Like when my clients say, right, can you use a vacuum on me? A vacuum. Can you use a vacuum? You know, because sometimes I use a vacuum up there or down there, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Asta Chesco. Okay. You know what? Right. I mean, that's something I've never heard of. Vacuum. Remember, in my mind, a vacuum is a Hoover. Okay. My Hoover is. So when you say vacuum, it's Hoover. Uh, so okay, vacuum bags. Okay, I'll I'll try and work it out. I'll try and work it out. Okay, B and M. Why? Why do you use vacuum on people? What do you mean, why do I use vacuum on people? I use all sorts. Vacuum, cucumbers, carrots. You know. 
vacuums if you want to see why i use vacuums then um anyway this is not a topic for tiktok this is not a topic so everybody i was just leaving isn't it i was just leaving so thank you for listening thank you for your time thank you for your attention thank you thank you thank you yes for those of you for those of you who who want to know more about the vacuum, it's um, on the other, you know, not on, let's just say not on TikTok, not on TikTok, not on TikTok. Oh, gutted, I've missed the live. Oh, I'm gutted for you because it was wonderful. Okay, one last question before I go. If I want this live to be on my page, somebody says go to replay and... Go to replay and poor Alfred. Why'd you say poor Alfred? Poor Alfred for what? Poor Alfred. Alfred is a very happy person because he's got a happy mom. I cannot give to my son what I don't have. If I have no joy, I cannot give my son joy. If I have no peace of mind, I cannot give my son peace. But Alfred is... If you, you guys, if you know Alfred, everybody knows Alfred, you will know he's one of the most happy, joyful. Wow. You know why? He comes from this rock, from this strength, from this abundant joy, you know, from this abundant joy. So to anybody thinking, poor Alfred, you know what? Poor you. My condolences that you're probably living in misery in you know maybe you've been abandoned you've been forsaken you've been betrayed and you're thinking poor alfred no 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 let me tell you about alfred alfred was abandoned by his father because he's disabled yeah but still i never say poor alfred when alfred was one year old he was abandoned by his dad because his dad was like nah this this is for the sewage this is for the sewage, you know? This child is not for me. And guess what? Even though he was... Even though he was abandoned by his dad, there's never a day I've said, poor Alfred. Because, wow, this boy is so strong. He, he makes me so strong. Okay, you know about the dad. Okay. Right? Yeah. But even then, I don't say poor Alfred because Alfred is just so happy. And our happiness intertwines. Alfred does his own thing. You know, Alfred does his own thing. Mommy does her own thing. We are two happy people on this planet. All you have to do is tap into the joy. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, 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 no. But still, I'm not having a go at you. I am just also explaining that it's okay to just tap into other people's joy but also sometimes we just assume because alfred is a son of an escort people just assume they assume things and you know assumptions will take us nowhere will get us nowhere you know don't worry i've done that before i've assumed before where i've just looked at people and judged how they could be living whatever you know um, so it's a big flow of character and personality if we assume. We miss out on so much. We miss out on so much when we assume things, you know. But yeah, Alfred is happy and I am happier. Because I am happy, then that happiness oozes to my son. Like I said earlier, you can never give what you do not have. So if you're a happy parent, you give that joy. That joy will ooze out to your kids. You know. Okay, 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 okay. You know, the person says, please, the comment was taken out of context. Okay, okay, okay. Right. We've, we hug now. We hug and move on, okay? We hug and move on. And the rest of the things I've also just been talking for edification, you know? talking for edification, education, enlightening, in case another person, yeah, is also not writing it, but also thinking, poor Alfred, poor Alfred, you know, 
So um, I just have to clarify and just say, hmm, if there's one dude, even I wake up and think, oh, how old is Alfred? Alfred is 22. Alfred is 22. Yeah. Okay, now I got to go for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, until, until next time. Would you let girls work for you? What else are you on other than TikTok? <laughs> Somebody's asking, what else are you on other than TikTok? What do you think? Is that really a question? What do you think? You want to... Oh, good. Right, 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 right. That is a sensitive question. That would just get me... So what other platforms am I on? <sighs> right. Off. Go to replay and share. Okay. Bye. Would you visit truck drivers in the truck? <laughs> wow. Somebody's just asked, would you visit truck drivers in the truck? You need to read my book, Confessions of a Justified. I talked about <laughs> truck drivers in trucks. You know that place, Lim Services? Lim Services, one of the biggest truck stopovers in Europe. Let me tell you, I meet people in a five-star hotel. They've spent, what, £3,000 a night on accommodation? Huh? And guess what I love? I love truck meets. You know that point where the, the truck driver pulls me up? Pulls me up into the truck. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, it's actually, that, you know, I even wrote it in my book. How much I love. I'm on page 74. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, so this this person who's been having who we've been having a little exchange, you're actually reading my book. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> right, you know me then. Any person who's read my book, I feel like they know me from A to Z. From they even know my intestines. You know, seriously, if you've read my book, you know my intestines. You know my A levels, C levels, everything. You know <laughs> where I. Where I take it, what I take it, what I take, what I... <laughs> okay. Yeah, so limb, limb services, I used to go there, you know, because it was fun. It was absolute, it was fun. You know, when the driver pulls you up into the truck and I'm there being pulled up. It's so exciting, you guys. And I'm there being pulled up. And then the other truck drivers are watching and they know exactly what's going on on in there and they know what's going on in that track is not cooking obviously it's not we're not they having a cooking session are we you know yeah you can get my book in waterstones or amazon yeah wherever waterstones amazon you can get it on what you call kindle as well but there's no audio yeah and then getting that track you know i love wow you know <laughs> And one thing about truck drivers, they've always got um, hard cash on them forever, since forever. Not all these bloody posh, posh, you know, people who it's all about cards, chip and pins and cards. Truck drivers, it's all about cash. Cash is king. Cash money. Cash is king. Cash is king. Cash is king. Do you want to make a lot of money? What a question. It's like, some, you know, when you see somebody drinking water and you ask them, do you want to quench your thirst? Do I want to make a lot of money? I want to make money full stop. I don't even have a lot of money, so I want to make money full stop. Yeah? Imagine drinking water and somebody asks you, do you want to quench your thirst? Of course I'm thirsty. Can't you see I'm thirsty? Of course I'm bloody thirsty. Okay, you're in limb services twice a week. Okay. Well, I've not been there for a long time, I must say, but it will be it will be nice to just catch up with limb services 
you know, please don't forget to pull me up on that into that track. Just you know, pull me up, and then close that little curtain in the front so that the other drivers know that ah, <laughs> her milkshake brings all the boys in the truck. Get the car. Anyway, you guys, I think I've said bye half an hour ago. <laughs> right, bye. I need to sort other things out now. Other things out. Other things out. Thank you, everybody. Please, please, please stay with me. You will love it here. You will love it here. I am just me. So real. So raw. A happy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. See, I'm talking whilst I'm looking for the end pattern. There it is. And now, yes, please. I'm ending this live and I'm just saying bye, everyone. Big kisses. Mwah.